Behold, the diesel engine. But where did it come from? Meet Rudolf Diesel, born in Paris in 1858. Rudolf Diesel had always been fascinated with engines. Although he was born in Paris, both of his parents were German. When the family was deported during the Franco-German War, Rudolf continued his studies in England before traveling to Augsburg, Germany to live with his cousin. When he graduated München Polytechnic, he became an employee of the Sulzer Engine Works in Switzerland. It was here that he began building steam engines and saw how inefficient and wasteful the technology could be. The average steam engine of the time wasted 90% of its energy. Rudolf knew there had to be a better way to provide power. Hmm. The diesel engine is much more efficient than a steam engine. Here's how it works. A diesel engine uses the same four-stroke combustion cycle as a gasoline engine. That's intake, compression, combustion, and exhaust. In a gasoline engine, fuel is mixed with air, and then compressed and ignited. In a diesel engine, the air is compressed before the fuel is injected. Since air heats up when it's compressed, the fuel ignites without the need for a spark plug. Rudolph's rise to fame wasn't completely smooth. He was plagued by technical difficulties and patent conflicts, but he eventually prevailed, becoming a millionaire in the process.